what I do in real estate, it's really about connecting to the buyer and connecting the seller. And the way that I look at my job is find my own listings for my buyers because the inventory is so low. Tell my buyers, you know, in this market, where I bring value to you is not finding you homes that are active on the MLS. Just where I bring my value to you is finding the homes that are not on the market. You know, finding the sellers that want to sell but aren't listing. I get up in the morning with the intention of, let's see how many off-market properties can I find today? How many conversations can I be in? There's plenty of people that want to sell their home, but they may not necessarily be ready to list their home. Using my advocates, people that I know, and I just ask them to do me a favor and just keep their eyes and ears open and connect me with anyone who is in conversation about real estate. you're going for a walk or you happen to be driving by, if you find a you know, house that's kind of run down, I've got a buyer, they're willing to do some work into the home to be in your neighborhood. So if you have a home that's the black sheep of that neighborhood, you know, contact me, give me a call. And people love to be a contribution like that. Or if I had two people call me last week and their neighbor two doors down, her husband just passed away. So it's asking. I send him a handwritten note. You know, I've got a buyer that's looking specifically in this area. Have you considered selling if, or if there's a financial benefit to selling now, is that a conversation you'd be willing to have with me? And I keep it very simple and very clear and concise, right? I'm not dropping off any special marketing piece because they're getting so much of that being mailed to them. I just found that the handwritten notes just seem to be more effective. Normally when I'm going through my stack of, of mail, and that tends to be one of the first ones that I open up personally. I just have a game and a goal to have 20 or more conversations with people throughout the day. You know, I could be in conversation with someone at my son's swim meet, making sure that they know that I am looking for more homes on the market. So that could count as a conversation. I make it a point to get out to you know, at least three or four houses uh, two to three times a week. Before I go out there, I'm making sure that I'm in that neighborhood at the appropriate time of day so that I can really capture the largest number of people being at home. If I know that it's in a hipster neighborhood with younger working professionals, then uh, you know my intention is to book it on a Saturday morning or a little later in the afternoons, I mean in the evening hours, especially during the summertime. And then that gives me time to go knock on a couple doors right in that immediate area. And on the flip side of it, if I know that it's more of a retirement community and those homeowners are available at 2 p.m., that's an appointment to be booking in the middle of the day. But the key is I'm already out there, I'm out in the field, I'm out in the neighborhoods, and to really maximize that time. You know, I just want to introduce myself. You know, I'm Sophia Fama, I'm a local real estate agent, and I have buyers that are looking specifically for homes in your neighborhood. And I saw that you had your home on the market, and I sent you a note card about a week or so ago, and I just wanted to stop by, introduce myself, and see if this property is still available, or if you'd be willing to have a conversation with me. You know, if there were some benefit to you still selling. they're going to get you the neat jerk no and just oftentimes you know they've been on the market they're embarrassed they're upset they're frustrated they may have lost out on another property the key is to get them into conversation with you and I want to just unfold as to you know what happened getting them reconnected to why to their why you know people just don't get up in the morning and decide that I'm going to go through all the pain of listing my home unless there's a compelling reason to people are telling me that uh, they were getting discouraged, you know, with finding another home to purchase. In the case of I'm not ready to sell now because I can't find a home, you know, let's talk about, you know, what 
What are the features and benefits of this new home? You know, what is that offering you? And I'll tell you what, like I'll just keep it on my radar and as I'm out talking to other homeowners and looking for homes for my other buyers, and if I come across anything, then I circle back and let you know if I come up with anything. It's just really about knowing the inventory that's out there, or creating inventory that's both on the market and off the market. So a lot of my phone calls just sound like, you know, I spoke with another homeowner this morning and there may be a property that I found that you may want to take a look at. And let's see if this works for you. You know, and if it does work for you, then let's have a conversation about getting your house on the market.